So don't flip that over until. Okay, until um we are ready to go. <clears throat> All right. Okay, I'm not gonna see. I'm gonna keep it secret for me and you. That's going on the air, folks. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, kin folk. Welcome back to Keeping It Neat. I'm Nick, certified bartender. I am Derek, executive bourbon steward. And you know what we're doing here today. We're going to be doing some blind taste testings. We're on our last one today. We don't know what the bottle is. We don't know what we're sampling. We're going to figure it out for you and give you a little bit of notes and find out if we were right or not. So, um, Derek, how are you doing today? I am doing great, Nick. And that, you know what? I was hoping for more material from you on this, but you came in perfectly. I can't even, there's nothing to complain about. You did it like a pro. I'm enjoying I, it. Under pressure. You are. You're under <laughs> pressure, you did well. Hey, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Comment down below. Please like, you know, share this. Subscribe to our channel. Hit us up on our Facebook group where we do everything, all things whiskey there. Check us out. You know, we're a very friendly group. We're always talking about something. So feel free to join on over. Everything's down in the description down below, Instagram and Twitter. And we're always doing some sort of fun giveaway or something, you know, sometimes. related to that sometimes. So come check us out and sip along with us. But uh, Derek, are you ready to whiskey? Sir, I am ready and able. Let's nice. go. Let's do it. Nice. Dude, that nose is amazing. We're five for five. I'm going yeah, off the on The bourbon it. babe killed it this, this session. Wow. Oh, my gosh. It's like a cinnamon. There's some vanilla. It's got like this. It's a burn, but I need more. Little oak is mm. a sweetness going on. There is some dark cherry, like a fruity yeah. note going on. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you just took everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe, ooh, an er <laughs> Jerk, let me talk. Oh, you left me with nothing. I think um, herbal mint. Okay. I'm getting a mintiness in there. I can see that in the back over there. Yeah, um, so. Alcohol. But you've, you've, you you've go rocked the nose. Yeah, oh, yeah sorry. I, I killed a couple of notes there, but. Let's go into the body the darker amber, maybe. It's actually the, the legs are running like nicely running. It's a little oiliness to this one. Some viscosity coming out soon to a t shirt near you. The big old V. Let's <laughs> go into it. Let's go. <laughs> my mouth just went numb. Yeah, it's got some alcohol, my friend. What's weird is. <clears throat> the flavor profile is much more rye based. I feel like there's more spices that still pack a punch with the spices, but giving you a burst of flavor. If okay. that makes sense. No, I understand you're saying it's got that spiciness on the other end, which would you get more from a rye, but you get the delicious flavor after the spice hits you. Yes. If you had to run through a spice wall and then jog your way to the finish line with some flavor. That's how you get through this. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, folks, you heard that description here first. Please make sure you use that. You've never run through a wall before. I've never run through a spice wall, but I will now. <laughs> Dude, it's got like this brown sugar. There's a creaminess mm. going on in there. There's still a fruit note, some oak on there. This is delicious. Yeah, it's not too hot for the amount of alcohol we were getting off the nose. Um, I think it drinks. It's drinking smoother than mm -hmm. I think what the alcohol content is, which is always delightful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I think a lot of honey vanilla in there for me again, but the spice is on top of everything, so you're getting this like like a ball of spice, and if you cracked open that ball, you're getting the flavor inside of it. Um, definitely mm -hmm. cinnamon in there on the palate, the oak, obviously, um, that brown, I'm getting like brown sugary sweetness. And there's that, the fruit flavor that's coming through too, maybe like an apple-y kind of orchard of fruit for me. Um, but it's also has some cherry notes in there too, that are getting yes. me. So it's weird. So I'm going to put all some water. Spice. All spice? spice? Okay. I'm going to put some water in it, see if it opens it up, brings it down. Do the alcohol it down. <laughs> this is so weird. On my right side, so I'm using the same nostril, but 
But if I put it to the right side of the glass, I'm getting yeah. a lot of alcohol. Okay. With the small, with the spices and a little bit of like the vanilla caramel, whatever it is. Yep. If I go to the right side, same nostril, but left side of the glass, I'm now getting those honey and the honeysuckle. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying, but weird. I, my left nostril is actually the dominant nostril. Watch oh. some of our episodes, Bourbon 101, that we did a while ago. Um, that will tell you. I'll put it up here above Nick. Um, but yeah, the, you have a dominant nostril, changes every three hours. But yeah, I'm getting more out of my left nostril than my right. Mm. As I'm switching back and forth, it's really open up. And I'm getting those baking spices that, you know, that brown sugar, the oak, all of that coming through on that. Mm. I am now getting a lot more of those flavors, though, Derek, that you were saying before. I wasn't I, getting it first. The H2O, I think, helped it out opening up those little things because it pushed past that alcohol content. Mmm, that's delicious. All right, let's put down our guesses, and we'll go from there, my friend. Okay. So, I think it's a bourbon. Okay. Uh, I gave it a three out of five. I'm like, there. I don't care. I probably won't revisit it, but it is flavorful, and if somebody gave it to me, I would 100% accept it and totally sip along with them because I think it is tasteful, and I would be interested into breaking it down a little more. It's just yep. not... It's just not someone running out to go get. Uh, and then 45% alcohol. And I think H2O actually did help this one. So right. uh, what about you, Derek? I went, same as you, bourbon. I gave it a four because it's in yeah, – I mean, I like the bourbon. So yeah, I think that's where we're at. H2O, I think, did help it. I thought it opened it up a little bit more. You were getting more of those sweet notes that came out of it once you put the water in. I went 50% alcohol. Wow. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little high on the alcohol content, I know. But it's not drinking like that high, but I think it is that high. Um, okay. So – Let's go to the chug jug. We will open it up and see what we got. Okay. We, and, oh, yes, baby, is the E.H. Taylor single barrel, sir. The single barrel E.H. Taylor, 50% alcohol. Now, this is another one of those whiskeys I, I have I searched high and low to find. Um, took me over a year to find a wow. bottle of it that I could actually purchase for myself. The first time I actually ever tried it was in Tennessee with the bourbon babe when we went down on a trip. Um, so let's open this up. We'll see what we have for our whiskey notes. This was the one a bourbon babe was telling me earlier I kind of screwed up on. So E.H. Taylor, single barrel, is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, 100 proof, 50% alcohol, no age statement on it, but it's at least four years old. No no mash bill going on on this. They never tell you from Buffalo Trace. It's Buffalo Trace, parent company is Sazerac. As a founding father in the bourbon, bourbon industry, Colonel e Edmund Haynes Taylor Jr. left an indelible legacy. His dedication to distilling began at the close of the Civil War when he purchased the old-fashioned copper distillery. There he developed innovative techniques that are still in use today, made by hand. This, this single-barrel bourbon whiskey has been aged inside a century-old warehouse constructed by E.H. Taylor Jr., Barrels are evaluated and selected to create the perfect blend. Tasting notes. The aroma carries a light toasted oak with dried figs and butterscotch. One sip brings flavors of sweetness balanced with tobacco and dark spices. Uh, the finish is just long enough to prepare the palate for another sip. The bottle itself is a likeness of has a likeness of Colonel Taylor's original design used over a century ago. So that's kind of cool that it's the, the same design has been on that bottle for all that time. So... I think we got a lot of the notes in that one, buddy. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I can see the it, tobacco in there right now. Yeah. You know, and that's the power of suggestion. Once you hear it, you you can you can get it. Mm -hmm. mm. But yeah, so other than that, dude, this is a great whiskey. I really, I mean, I really myself, I really enjoy the single barrel um, E.H. Taylor. I like the small batch. I like all the E.H. Taylor products, really. Um, they're all really good. Um, and they're super hot to find a lot of them. The small batch you can find regularly, the rye too. Um, but the single barrel, when you start getting into the, the, uh, the single barrel, they also have uh, a couple of other really hard to finds like uh, four grains um, and some other ones that are like one-offs, small distribution. So they're really hard to find, but they're really sought after. So I got nothing else. I'm going to stick with my four on this one because I think it's delicious. Um, what about you? I'm going to stick with what I was at. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. So I'm going to leave it up to this handsome fellow next, oh, across from me right now, and he's going to finish this off. There he is. Well, as you always know, please like, share, subscribe, 
Join us for conversations. Let's have some fun. And as always, uh, Kim Folk, remember. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> oh, here's hoping that you find a little bit of luxury. <laughs> I, don't I love it. Blank. Thank you. <laughs> In an otherwise ordinary life. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.